know you can't see me, but you can hear me all right, hopefully. I'm on my route today to three destinations. First destination is visiting this uh, old yew tree um, that's estimated to be about 5,000 years old. I've seen it on Instagram um, on one of these Scottish tours that you can do. Obviously it's on my route so I might as well visit it on the way because it does look quite cool. The fact is estimated to be around 5,000 5, years old or older in fact. And it's, there's like a little, it's next to a church or it's on the church grounds. It's got a little poetry or some sort of uh, stones on the ground on the way to the tree. So yeah, it's worth visiting anyway, I'm gonna have a look. But yeah, it's on the way to another destination where I'll be going after that, which I was mentioning on the last episode. I bumped it. I'm a bit nervous and excited at the same time. I don't know, hopefully I'll get some good videos of it anyway show you guys I'm not gonna bottle it I'm gonna do it but I am a bit nervous about it but again like I said excited at the same time and then after that I'm heading into Glenmore which I'll be camping out in the area for the night I want to do some of the mountain ranges in the Cairngorms so in the next day Yes, I know I did say I was going to go straight to Inverness from the campsite last night, but I can't go through the Cairngorms and not do a climb up somewhere.
which is play. Yes. Number four, recording. And for this camera here, a welcome title and fling. What's your name? Greg. And what are you doing today? I'm just traveling to Scotland. I'm, I'm literally going to swing off this damn bridge. I don't know what I'm doing. Do. Are you ready? I am. Sweet. How are you uh, sticking with your capture? That's going to fling off. No, I should be fine. That's fine. Right. We'll fling off. I'm going to start recording yeah. that one there as well. Oh, we're awesome. That's nice. Right, are you recording on your side? I am now. Hopefully. Right, sit down into your harness. Oh, shit. You're going to kick your feet out over the edge. Oh my days. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell am I doing? This is your idea, though, wasn't it? It was my idea. Yeah. Right, so give Aiden a little wave from the platform over there. The camera. Give uh, our GoPro on the railing, give that one a wave. And then one above your head. That's going with you, too. Oh, Christ. Don't forget to smile on the way down. <laughs> so if you lean right back into the harness, keep that arm open. Are you there? Uh, more than a surprise if you want to count them. God, you're going to surprise me. I'm going to do it, yeah. Either way, either way. Good. What counts for it? Uh, magic surprise. Magic surprise it is. So this one's called the Disappearing Man. No. Oh, and yeah. you can just go out for that. Right, sit down into your harness, kick your feet out over the edge. Oh my days. <laughs> what the hell am I doing? This is your idea though, wasn't it? It was my idea. Yeah. Right, so give Aiden a little wave from the platform over there, the camera. Give uh, our GoPro on the railing, give that one a wave, and then the one above your head, that's coming with you too. Oh Christ. Don't forget to smile on the way down. <laughs> So if you lean right back into the harness, and keep that arm out. Are you uh, wanting a surprise or do you want to count them? Oh God, you're going to surprise gonna me anyway, aren't you? Yeah, either way, either way. Okay. What kind of surprise will you be? Um, magic surprise. Magic surprise, okay. So this one's called the Disappearing Man. Oh, right. And you can just go Alakazam. Oh, Jesus Christ! Whoa! Whoa! Jesus! <laughs> Oh, that's brilliant! Woo! <laughs> oh my days! <sighs> oh man, that is epic! You've definitely got to do this. <laughs> that's the first time I've ever done any kind of adrenaline thing like this before. Oh. oh man, my hands are tingling. What a view down here though. Look at this. How cool is that? Oh man, tingling fingers, shaky hands, but feeling great. Oh man, that was well cool. Feeling alive. I think I need to. I think I need to uh, let, stop my hands from tingling too much. I need to get some food, I'm starving now as well. How the hell I'm hungry after this, but I need some food. Please tell me I clicked record. I did. Oh wow. Surprise! <laughs> Thanks How for that. Was it? Yeah, it's brilliant. Do <laughs> you enjoy it? Really enjoyed it. Nice. I'm gonna bring you in backwards once you get here. Feet. Well worth doing that. 
and the guys sort you out so good here like they strap you in nice and tight literally jumped off that bridge there it just drops you well hope you like that one see you back later did you enjoy that seeing me crapping my pants <laughs> seriously can't believe i did that i've still got the uh, the stuff written on me my weight was 98 kilograms you have to put an extra two one by the way so it's 98 thank you very much but set up in this uh really really this is the best by far this campsite that i've stayed at we're in uh, just out of Aviemore or Aviemore i don't know how you say it how you pronounce it but i'm in the cairngorms so i'm literally gonna pack up here in the morning and head up in the mountain ranges oh i can't wait I really can't wait got me a spag ball fucking me spag ball at the minute oh yes Spag up, spag ball on. Got the wine going on there. This is the life. I'm well happy. I literally, I don't want to stop doing this. I carry on all the time. I know I've got another couple of weeks easy at least yet. Um, I literally loved it doing this. I know I've got good weather today, to be honest. And the rain, I've not had it that bad yet, so. Whether it'll start making me feel a bit different about it all, I don't know. It's not it's not really rained that bad, so I've been lucky, I've been fortunate. <laughs> but yeah, that today, absolutely unreal. Like never done anything like the only thing I've ever done is roller coasters. Did abseiling once, and that was a long time ago when I was in high school at this army training camp. I did enjoy it then, but never done anything since and uh, literally just free falling out of the sky. Because you are, you're not swinging straight away. You, you, you free fall for a few, good few seconds and then obviously the rope catches you and that's it, you swing right out. <laughs> it's a drop and a half, it really is. Well, I think uh, that's making me want to do a bungee now. I really do want to do a bungee now, I'll give it a go. Well, I hope you've enjoyed it today. It's, it's been a little one, but it's gonna be sometimes gonna be little videos, and some are gonna be longer. It just depends what I'm doing and what content I've got, what I've got ready for it. So sometimes I'm just not in the mood to record stuff, but I do it as much as I can. Just need to stir this. It's almost done. It's virtually done. Literally just, if I would have looked at myself like five, ten years ago or whatever, I never would have thought of even thinking of doing anything like this. Was never into camp, was never into hiking, never into camping. It's just something I was never brought into. Um, I never got into it other after lockdown, getting into the hiking, that's it. I just wanted to do camping and that was, that was it for me. But this is just fantastic. Right? Roof tent on the car. Got everything I need in here. Cooking my spag bowl. I'm having a red wine. I'm in the woods, kinda. On a campsite, but you know, looks like you're in the woods. It just feels amazing. <laughs> Before I sat my head down for the night, I thought I'd give you a little tour around this campsite. It's called Dalradi Holiday Park. And it's in Aviemore. It is actually in Aviemore. Aviemore, Aviemore, whichever. Um, that's my setup. So I've got my car there. And it's, this, these are tent. These are classed as tent pitch ups, uh, but the hard standing. So these are the hard standing with electric. So you get you get your car on. Roof tent. Roof tents are perfect in this place. Uh, or if you want to park up and camp out next to your car, you've got the whole grass, that's your bay there, that you can have all that. Um, but yeah, I'll turn this around so you can have a look. It's 
so these are the site this is the site so like i said you've got that's a whole bay there so you can park your car here tent pitch up here and you've got electric supply and water as well for each one i think they all have water but yep electric as long as you've got the adaptive to use outdoors plugs um and then fresh water uh i believe it's drink yeah drinking water so fresh water straight out the tap right on your camp so you can, you've got everything you need you could literally have a week here with the kids with a family as a family and the whole site's put they've got a a kids playground area i'll show you that in a bit some a little bit different uh, some are bigger that's quite a bit bigger so they they've got plenty of room for larger vehicles this one has this one even has a bench so you can cook whatever you need to do and get on the picnic table and happy days if you've got kids they'd absolutely love this place you've got all the mountain ranges around it in the cairngorms these are your toilets here so you've got two ladies and a shower shower cubicles so this will be your whole room so that's decent enough so it's got them showers that make sure the water doesn't come trickling down everywhere and they've even got drainage on the floor here if you do you obviously get a bit of water out as well i prefer that because i've been in some campsites where it's just all one floor shower with a curtain halfway through you've got nowhere to put your clothes because the water's just coming under and that's a lot better i know they're just basic they look like caravan kind of showers but that's all you need and then around here you've got your gents toilets ladies and gents toilets And a laundrette, you got grey water disposal area, laundrette and dishwashing facilities. That's it, look at that. Perfect. Wash is £4 for a wash. Wash is £4 for a wash. I think it's a pound. It doesn't really say anywhere. Oh yeah, there it does. No, it doesn't. Yeah, I think it's four pound a wash and I think it's a pound for the tumble dryer for so long. I think it's half an hour or something like that. But yeah. So I'll quickly go and show you the uh, playground area. Uh, you know, if you, you are thinking about taking your kids somewhere, get to Avi Moor, man. It's just, I went through the centre before, the centre of Avi Moor. I went through there before and only briefly because I needed to pick something up, but it's got everything you need. They've got all your regular shops, home bargains, Aldi, uh, Tesco, um, and then all your outdoorsy type shops, bars, restaurants. Again, loads of bays you can park up here. Kids can play out in the grass if there's not many tents on there. So as you can see behind me here, you've got the uh, kids play area. It's really decent for younger kids. You've still got a couple of swings if you've got older kids like I have. You still loves the swings. Um, and a slide big enough as well, so I'll quickly show you anyway. So you've got quite a bit there. Kids would absolutely love it here. And it's surrounded just trees like throughout everywhere. Just gonna have a look around here because I remember seeing like a bar restaurant kind of area. So the, this is your shop here um, and it's reception so you check in there and the shop's decent as well like you've got got all your uh, amenities whatever you need in there whatever you need and you think you've forgotten to when you come to a campsite they've got it in there. I literally had a quick look around I've got everything I'm all right and I remember the last night was at another campsite I was dying for some red wine and didn't have the nearest shop was like two miles away two or three miles away and um yeah it was late and i just thought you know what let's leave it tonight here you've got everything you've got your wine you've got your alcohol you've got all your alcohol kind of 
beverages. Um, it's like a little mini supermarket basically. It's got uh, even like your chocolates and stuff like that. And it's not overpriced, it's just regular. A big bar of dairy milk, a pound, like a big bar. Um, big packs of chocolates, uh, a pound fifty. Whatever. But it's all in there, definitely. This is where the... It's closed now, but... Uh, so they've got your food on there. It's like roughly around £10 for a meal. But they've got everything you need over there. They've um, got a barbecue brisket, loaded fries and slaw for a tenner. Happy days. They've got a coffee shack. A little cabin for a coffee. Yeah, a cabin for a coffee. Um, oh wow, they've got loads of stuff. They've got stuff for the kids, like you've got archery, um, grass sledging. That sounds well cool. I think I'm going to bring my daughter here, I swear to God. Can go on quad treks. Ah, that's for me, not the kids. <laughs> Even more adventure train. Oh, they got a little train for the kids and stuff. That's fantastic, that. This is where you book into. I'm well stoked with this place. This is brilliant. You got something else over here. Foot and cycle path to have you more. Space sideway. Literally, you've got you've got a, a good walk, good walkway. Where you can walk through the woods and stuff to. Where you can walk through the woods and stuff to have you more. Ah, so this is where they do all the archery. I'll quickly show you. And they've got a podium as well. <laughs> Get your kids arguing with each other. Happy days. So this is where they do all archery, adventure train, quad treks. I guess is where you come to start it. I feel like I've definitely found a good one here. Like this potential for me taking my daughter somewhere this year, this is. I want to try and get her into the camping. She's not a massive fan of it, but um, I think once she's done it for a week, she'll probably enjoy it. I reckon she will anyway. Anyway, I thought I'd just give you a quick tour around while it's quiet and now I'm gonna head back to head back to my tent now and get a drink again if you've liked it if you've liked the episode like and subscribe keep up with everything else I've still got a few I've still got a couple of weeks in Scotland at least and then wherever from there there's, there's gonna be more journeys more adventures so yeah see you on the next one <laughs>